You probably know you can verify your smart contracts in Tenderly privately, but do you know you can also deploy your smart contracts to Tenderly? Let's take a look at an example of deploying an ERC20 token. So here I have a simple hardhead project, nothing fancy there, and I have a simple ERC20 token built using Open Zeppelin's smart contracts. And now let's go into the deploy script. So this one over here is taking a token and deploying it on a network and then sends a transaction by taking the second signer that we have available for that network and minting 100 way worth of T token. So let's see how we can run this deploy script on a Tenderly DevNet. So first of all, uh, I'm right here in the Tenderly dashboard in the DevNet section, I'll make some space. And what we need to do is create a DevNet template. So I'll click Create Template, and I get this pop-up, and I have to choose several things. First of all, that's the network that we want to start from, and let's take Mainnet. And let's use the latest block number. Now, the name, I could name it Arbitrarily Deployment. And after that, you can see that we have a YAML configuration file which enables you to have very high degree of control over your DevNet, meaning you can override any single storage slot on any single address of any given contract that's already deployed on the DevNet or you, uh, you deploy it yourself. Uh, of course, you can change balances of wallets as well as smart contracts, and you can even specify uh, the amounts of ERC20 tokens uh, on a given address. Uh, for now, I'll just leave this as is. The only important configuration is that we're using mainnet and uh, the latest block. I'll hit create, and now the template is created. So anytime I want to uh, try something out, I can spawn the DevNet, bring it to life, and I'll just click here, and I get an RPC link. So this RPC link allows me to connect to that DevNet, have the access to the latest mainnet data and actually connected with my local hardhead configuration. So let's add that hardhead configuration here. So the first thing that we need to do is actually add a networks uh, part of the config and um, I've added a tenderly network. Now the thing that we need to do is paste the RPC link of that devnet into the hardhead config. So there we go, it's a big link. And this is enough for us to run the script and to see transactions popping into DevNet. But let's take it a step further. Let's see how we can verify the, those contracts. And we can do that by using Hardhead Tenderly plugin. So I'll just go here and I'm importing the plugin. Let me just make some space here, okay. And then we're calling the plugins setup method. Here, I'm explicitly specifying that I want to avoid automatic verifications because I prefer to have more control over the process of verification as well. And this sets up the plugin. Now, the last bit that we need to do is also add a little bit of configuration that instructs the plugin about the Tenderly project that it's working with and, of course, about the username. So the project, that's actually the project slug, and it's the hyphenated version of the project name that you can see here. And the username is, well, my username or my organization name if it's an organization account. And that should be it. Let's take a look at the deploy script. Now, the bit that we need to do here is actually add the code that will verify this smart contract because we disable automatic verifications. And it's pretty simple. Let me go back here. I'm gonna verify the contract as soon as it's deployed. So I'm pasting this here. And what we're doing is that we're using the Tenderly plugin, which is now present in the Hardhead runtime environment. And we're calling the verify method. What we need to give to the verify method is the name of the smart contract taken from the Solidity file. And that's the T token over here. And the second bit is the address at which this contract is deployed. 
And of course, since we're actually calling an API, we have to await for the verification to take place. So now this would be it. And I can run mpx hardhat run scripts deploy. And I have to specify the network. And that would be tenderly. I hit enter and now the script will run. We'll have to wait a bit. And you can see instantly how the how everything <laughs> actually happened. The contract was created, the contract got verified, and the mint function got invoked. So by just a little bit of adjustments to the hardhead config and a little bit of code, we got the contract verified so we can actually see the complete trace, but also jump into the execution of this transaction and do debugging. So you've seen how you can deploy a smart contract to Tenderly, and you can find a link to the Git repository in the description down below, so you can try it out for yourself.